Hi there everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to my channel. Amongst other things, I'm a reenactor and a jouster. And if you've been following my channel for a while, then you will have seen that my new armour has just arrived. Oh. A lot of people have asked me in the unboxing video that I shared why I didn't try it on. And it's quite a simple reason really. I actually couldn't do it. Not only would I have needed someone else to help me put the armour on, but also the attachment points on this new armour are different to on my previous armour. So I actually need to do some preparation before I can put this armour on. In the late 15th century, the main item worn under armour is called an arming doublet. You may have seen my black one before. It was tailored for me by the sempstress, link below and I'm very happy with it. However, for now, it doesn't have point holes in the right place, so we need to go back. This is my original arming doublet from 10 years ago. It was made by Black Swan Designs and is a great non-tailored option if you want to get into armored fighting. By the way, this video isn't sponsored by either of these makers, but if you want to help the channel out, you can find my Patreon in the description below. The reason I've dug out this old, heavily patched doublet is because it has a lot more holes already in it. This means I can use this one to work out the fit and how and where the best places for attachment are, and then I can translate it onto my newer silk doublet. I don't want to be making any mistakes on the silk one. You can see that a lot of the point holes are very narrow, so I'm having to widen any of the ones that I think I'm going to use with a brass awl. This is a really great piece of kit, as sometimes these eyelet holes close up over time and need re-widening, especially if your aglet has fallen off your points. This is a classic problem to have, and it's definitely something that happened in period as well, because apparently aglets are one of the most prolific finds that archaeologists can find. So now that I've put all of the holes and laces in the doublet where I think I'm going to need them, I can finally think about trying on the armour. Cash and I would really like to thank you for watching this far into the video. Either you really liked it and you stayed this long, you really disagreed with most of the stuff in it and now you're very angry and typing a comment, or maybe you've just left a playlist playing and it's cropped up. Uh, if it's the first one, please do feel free to leave a like and or share. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. Thank you very much to my patrons for all of the support and uh, uh, you can find a link to that and to my merch shop in the description down below. Thank you very much. Cash doesn't actually mind either way. I don't think she knows too much about YouTube. Here you go.